Hello everyone. Hello grade five. I am teacher Edith and welcome to our math class. Today we're going to talk on how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving percentage using appropriate strategies and tools of quarter three week 2.2. So let's define first what is problem solving. When we say problem solving, it is the act of defining a problem, determining the cause of the problem, identifying, prioritizing, and selecting alternatives for a solution, and implementing a solution. We have types of problem solving. Number one is routine problem, and number two is the non-routine problem. When we say routine problem, it is a type of problem where there is an immediate solution or a problem that involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature. On other hand, non-routine problem, a problem solving that requires analysis and insights into no principles of mathematics. It involves difficult problem solving. To solve routine and non-routine problems, we are guided by the following steps. First, is we have to understand the problem, wherein we need to know what is asked and what are the given facts. Second, we have to plan. Wherein we're going to identify the operations to be used and write the number sentence. Third, we're going to solve. Show our solution, check and look back, and we have to state the complete answer. Let us also define what is percentage. So percentage is a part of the base determined by the rate and it is defined as the product of the rate and the base. The formula is P equals R times B wherein P is for percentage, R is for rate, and B is for the base. When we say rate, it is the quantity expressed as percent, and base refers to the whole on which the rate is applied. We have here a sample problem. A farmer planted 38% of his farm with mango trees. His farm has a total area of 1,500 square meters. How many square meters were planted with mango trees? Following the steps in problem solving, we can answer the given problem. Based on the problem, we're going to determine what is asked. So what is asked in our problem? Great. How many or total square meters were planted with mango trees? What are given? Very good. 38% of farm planted with mango trees and 1,500 square meters total area of the farm. Since we are talking about percentage, what operation are we going to use? 
Okay, so we have multiplication. What is the number sentence? N is equal to 38% times 1,500, wherein N is total square meters were planted with mango trees. We're going to show our solution and state the complete answer. Using the formula in finding percentage, we have P is equal to R times B, wherein R stands for rate and B stands for base. So we have P is equal to 38% times 1,500. We can change 38% to decimal number that is 3,800 times 1,500. So P is equal to 570 square meters. Square meters of the farm was planted with mango trees. Again, to solve routine and non-routine problems, we are guided by the following steps. First, understand the problem. Know what is asked and what are the given facts. Second, identify the operation to be used and write the number sentence. Third, show the solution, check and look back, and state your complete answer. This ends your learning session for quarter three week 2.2 competency of your activity sheet.